Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Squeeze Take 15. Today's topic is self-love. Um, so much to say on this topic and it's such a, a hype lately, but it's so important. Self-love is essentially self-care, self-confidence, how we perceive ourselves, um, what we're willing to give to ourselves. So I guess a couple of questions to ask yourself is, um, do you feel you do enough for yourself? Or do you not really have the time? So in today's busy life, um, obviously we're all busy, we all have priorities, work commitments are a massive thing for us and it's really hard to take time out for ourselves. Just the other day I was having a chat with um, a friend who's actually hurt her back unfortunately and she was really stiff and really tight and she was just talking about how she didn't know when she could get back to the physio so she'd went, been once it really um, helped and then you know she still wasn't feeling well she um, just sitting down in the chair all day at work didn't help her and she started off the day really well by the end of the day you know pretty downhill and she was um, debating when to get into the physio next and when she could leave work because it's really hard sometimes to leave once you're there and obviously some places like physio, um, Kairos, uh, mentors, you know, not everything is open early in the morning before work. So it's kind of that juggle of your priority of you have to be at work, but there's that other priority that we have to take care of ourselves. Can you actually do your best at work if you don't take care of yourself, you know, if your back's bothering you that much, can you really focus on work and give it your all and, and be quite responsible in providing what you need to? Um, the topic of time is always a struggle for anything weight loss, self-care. You know, it's, it's hard because when, when do we have time? I'm, I'm even just sitting here going, oh, like, to come on and be here every day for the 9.30, uh, the daily squeeze. It's it's holding me accountable. It's, it's a little bit of self-love for me. It's what I can give to you guys. So we have to really plan these things and, and really um, figure out what our priorities are. So it's, it's difficult. Self-love and self-care is so important because you know, on the other side of it, you have burnout. So if you're feeling frustrated, if you don't really know um, what it is that you need, figure out what you don't need. Um, you know, don't let it get to that burnout stage before you decide that, you know, you need some time away. You just need some you time. Self-care isn't just about the pampering. I love to pamper myself. I, I absolutely um, love to go and sit there and have my nails done for me because it's a time when I can't use my hands, I can't use my phone, and it's just kind of that little sitting meditation. Um, do I do it often? No. I actually do my nails at home quite a bit because it's also just a nice relaxation when I'm here as well. So taking the time for you is really important. And good morning, Margaret. And it is... Um, it's really important to figure out what it is that you need. Do you need time alone? Do you need more time with friends? I call it love buckets. So I have I have my different love buckets. I have my um, I have my my self love bucket. I have my girly love bucket. I have my Mark love bucket, and I have my uh, career love bucket. You know my spiritual love bucket and all of these buckets I need filled on a, a weekly basis pretty much but a different balance and it depends on where I'm at in my headspace and where I am what I have going on that week to actually figure out what to do to fill up these different buckets um, we've been moving around quite a bit lately and my girly love bucket is um, it's quite empty 
empty sometimes. It's hard to meet new people sometimes. And I talk with Mark about this bucket all the time. And the answer is to go see friends. Um, that time I hold so near and dear to me because it is so special to just sit with one of my girls and have breakfast. I actually had was um, able to have two coffees yesterday uh, with two different girlfriends and it was just fabulous. I was so productive throughout the day. My love bucket is topped up and I'm just, it makes me feel special. So it's really important to find out what kind of self-care you need. Self-care could be in hobbies. It could be, you know, walking buddy for me is a, a big piece of my self-care. It gets my, gets me outside, it gets me in the fresh air and it helps me to relax and it helps me to kind of prepare for the day, you know, that's my downtime, that's my me time. So figure out what it is that you need for that self-love so that you don't get overwhelmed or frustrated, you don't reach that burnout point. Life is so busy now that if you're in bed by the end of the day and you're just struggling to figure out um, what your purpose is, you obviously need some, some time for you. So don't be afraid to just take some quiet time out you know, little pieces here and there, and then you can figure out how much you do need in maybe a weekly or monthly span. Thank you, Margaret. And um, it, it's a balance, and it's, a, it's all these little tries that you have to do. Self-love, you're not just going to figure out what you need. Sometimes, you know, I love to go get my nails done. Other times, I need a really nice walk, uh, five minutes in a bubble bath. Sometimes I just need to be around Mark. You know, it's it's very different. Um, family movie nights are important for us with the fur babies up near us and just having a chill out session. It's It could be really going out and um, having a few drinks with friends. You know, social time is part of that self-love as well because if we're not around friends or family, um, you can feel quite lonely and alone, you know, at night and it's not always the right thing to do either is, you know, go to bed at night feeling down. So what do you need to do to lift up your love buckets, to fill them up? Um, and sometimes they may just need a top up, which is perfect. So I hope this has helped. Um, really think about when you get down or frustrated or lonely and what it is that you're kind of craving, you know, is it being with someone? Is it being, um, by yourself is it having something done is it doing something like a hobby walking some kind of craft being creative is really good to um, gain some self-love and just confidence and you know it your right left brain it's all it's all very um, it's very good to just use everything it's like different exercises so have some fun figuring out the self-love that you need so that you can be at your best every day in the busy world that we call life and enjoy it. I'll talk to you again on Monday. See you then, have a great weekend.